What's going on, Silver and Gold Stackers? This is your man, Silverback Stacker, with another video. Today, I want to talk about how much silver should you try to accumulate over one year as a beginner. I know there's a lot of videos like this, but I'm not just going to give you like an even number. I'm going to try to give you a number backed by math. And this should work for most people. I know everybody's income vary, And I'm trying to do this for the average person now person who has bills, maybe he's married with kids, something that is doable over the long term. I'm going to try to help you guys out. So I'm not going to make this a long video, but I really think that a good amount to have would be 43 ounces of silver after one year. And you're like, why 43? Why not just 40? Everybody does like 40, 50, 100. These even numbers, you know, I might show some silver while we're doing it, but, you know, everybody shows these even numbers. I'm going to give you the number based off of math and what the current spot price is right now. Okay. The current spot price right now is almost $24. It's been like that. You know, it's been going up and down a couple of cents. You know, maybe good drops down to 23, 28 cents. I mean, excuse me, drops down to... $23.80 and then it goes back up to $24. It's been going on for a while. So that's been happening. Okay. You should try to, as a beginner, is to save up money over time. Each paycheck, save some money. Now, you're like, oh, I got bills. How am I going to do that? How am I going to pay my bills and stack money and then try to stack silver? It's a lot, like, right? Stack, stacking money and stacking silver. Okay. Well, I know that many of us, we're making many of us go to restaurants, McDonald's, Burger King, you know, maybe Subway. I don't know, whatever, whatever you like. Slow down on that, you know? Try to slow down on that. Don't, don't go to those places. Another thing is you'll be surprised on how much money you have when you put money to the side right after you get your paycheck. Don't spend your money as soon as you get your paycheck. Right when you get your paycheck, pay yourself first and put money to the side. I believe a great amount of money to put to the side is $50 a paycheck. And now I'm going to do the mess as if a person gets paid bi-weekly. So twice twice a month. Not not semi-monthly, but you know, bi-weekly. There you go. Bi-weekly. So if you get paid bi-weekly, that means you get paid 26 times a year. That's what that means. You get paid 26 times. Okay? So if you get paid 26 times a year, if you save $50 each paycheck. At the end of the year, you would accumulate accumulated $1,300. All right? What you do is you take that 1000 You don't have to... Actually, you could do this either save it all up and then buy in bulk. That's up to you. Or you could take the money maybe once a month, $100. But you take that money and you buy silver. Now, right now, at most coin shops, you can probably buy, if you, if you get it online in the coin shops, you normally can buy about an ounce of silver with the premiums. You can find silver for about $30 an ounce. Like, you can find silver for $30, okay? So, if you do that for that entire year, you would have accumulated 43 ounces of silver. That's how the math works out. If you take 1300 and divide that by 30, you come with like 40.33 something. I don't know. It might be off a little bit, but it's definitely at least 43 ounces of silver. Now, I, I honestly believe, listen, I'm not in everybody's pocket because I'm not a financial advisor. I say that, you know, I want somebody coming after me legally. Not a financial advisor, but the math works out. Try for yourself. So, take $1,300. Divided by 30 
and you get 43 something, point something. All right? And then with that money, you can accumulate 43 ounces of silver on the money. And I honestly believe most people, obviously everybody's circumstances is different, but most people, when I say most, I'm going to say 80% of people can probably put aside $50 each paycheck. That's that's probably doable for most people. Even for younger people. I would say, you know, if you're a young person, you maybe even working at a fast food restaurant. You might have some things you got to pay for. You might work at home. You probably could put away $50 each paycheck, even as a young person. And I think it, it won't be bad. Like, listen, invest in other things. If you're young, please, you know, invest in your 401k. If you got one, Roth IRA, do those things. But if you're interested in stacking, $50 each paycheck is not a ton of money. It's not. To most people, it's not. It'll be a ton of money and in the United States. And I think that's a good strategy. It's a pretty good strategy. All right. So that is the end of what I have to say. Well, please, if you're interested in more content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. Tell me, tell me if you think my strategy is bad tell me you think you, if you have a better strategy or you know share your strategy down below you know maybe you can convince me of a different way of helping people out stack help help each other out but leave it in the comments all right until next time